Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It's still Tuesday, May 15th, 6, 16th, 2023. Another drug poker test beer time. Another beer from our pals at Craft Brand Company. Craft Brand Co. Uh, they sent a, a three pack along of uh, three, three different beers. Uh, we talked about the pills yesterday. Today, we're going to talk about Fata Morgana. Am I saying that? Fata Morgana, but it's, it's the folk, it's the session IPA based off of the Imperial IPA from the great folks in Sweden there, Omnipolo. Omnipolo. This is brewed at Brunswick Beer Works here in, 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 in uh, Toronto, I believe. Uh, but it's the recipe and whatever. If you know how that works, right? Yes. Yes, we do, Poke. We understand the contract brewing concept. We understand how Omnipolo travels the world, giving brews to the world to be brewed in different countries. We understand this thing. Uh, do you understand the Pythagorean theorem? I'm sure I was taught that at one point. I don't need it now. Nor do I need geometry. Well, I guess I need geometry to build stuff. I ain't much about history. Don't know much about biology. Anyways, let's get into beer. Cheers, my friends. Thank you to Craft Brand Co. I appreciate being included. Always nice. Cheers. So when I say light, I mean light, like 3.5%. This is a very, very light IPA. I, I, where's that line with I, IPAs and pale ales? Because wouldn't this just be a pale ale? See, I don't know. Ooh, Cardinal. A lot of Cardinals back here. I don't know. Again, I think a lot of IPA naming is just marketing, and that's fine. I have no disagreement. This is a nice beer. It is lighter in body, 100%. You're going to get that. Like I had Zodiac last night. Zodiac's like their, their big IPA, right? 7%. It's one of the highest rated IPAs in the world. It's a beautiful, beautiful beer. Don't get me wrong. And it's a heavier body. This doesn't skimp on flavor. It gives you a very nice, pithy, kind of passion fruit, peach, citrusy, lemon, pith. I, it's a nice light IPA, and I, I dig that, man, because summer's here, right? And we're trying to, like, you know, stay up past 8 o'clock most nights, and I want to sit outside and have a couple of pints, and things like this give me options, right? I, I don't know. Is the mar I think the market's bigger for low ABV beers and non-alcoholic beers. I don't trust non-alcoholic beers. Like, where's the rest of you? I don't know. I, I really should try them again. I know I didn't, but I mean, these offerings are good. 3.5 with a 3.3 the other day. It's a nice little IPA. You want to call it that? A little IPA. There, there seems to be a market for this, and there seems to be some very well-made ones. It's crushable, thirst-quenching, tasty. These are all things that are good. It gonna rain. Many non sequiturs tonight, Mr. Polk. Slightly discombobulated. Yeah, it happens sometimes. You ever feel that? We were just like, something's off. I don't know. Okay, hope you guys have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll do more beers and talk about more random stuff that pops into my head. Bird. Squirrel! Anyways, cheers, my friends. Enjoy your evening. Thank you to Kraft Branco, Omnipolo. Let's, uh, let's see what two of these taste like, because... Pretty sure it's going to taste good. Cheers. I mean, notice that right when you're in the second beer and you're like, this is even better than the first one. I wonder what four will taste like. And then, well, you're going to have four beers. Might as well just have eight beers. And you're just going to just tell them you're going to have 12 beers. Right? All right. Cheers.